Hey guys, welcome back. We're taking a look at a U.S. Dragon figure today by the name of Lou. He is a U.S. Army Military Police, part of the 8th Infantry Division, and this guy is a corporal. So at the top, World War II, Brittany 1944, and here's a great looking picture of the figure. This one is pretty hard to find. He doesn't show up a whole lot on eBay. I've been keeping an eye out for him. Um, so I was pretty happy to get him. I paid around, I think, $50 if I remember right, which is a good price, I think. Um, I really like the MP figures, and this one is really unique. So definitely worth picking up. Here's the back of the box. And this one is a little older. He was released in 2003. All right, let's bring out the figure now. Here he is. Great looking figure. I love his helmet. And um, yeah, he just looks great. Pretty easy to put together, I think. Didn't have any complications, which was nice. So really a great figure. All right, so. As you can see, comes with a Thompson, which he holds really well. And that looks great in his hands. Alright, and as shown on the box, you can uh, put it over his shoulder like so. That looks great as well. And here it is up close. Nice sturdy strap on there. And of course the clip comes out. Uh, it can come out. It looks like it's a little stuck in there right now. But uh, you can slide that back. So great detailing on the Thompson. All right. Here he is up close. Like I said before, I really like the helmet. It's uh, unique. Um, I don't think any other figures have that helmet. Not that I know of, so it uh, definitely makes him unique. But um, looks great. All right, and here's the head sculpt. So he's a little older, so the detail isn't as good, but uh, considering 2000, it's considering it's a 2003 model. I think uh, they did a pretty good job. There's a lot of uh, wrinkles on his face, on his forehead, and uh, those prominent fe features definitely uh, add to the figure's head sculpt. So it looks good. All right. As for equipment. So he's got a pouch, small pouch here. They got another pouch here for his extra pistol clip. Here is his dispatch case. All right, we got his canteen on the back here. And that's uh, nice and heavy. And then we got these extra holsters for his Thompson clips. And those do have um, extra clips in there. Let's see, uh, three extra clips. Actually, two extra clips, my bad. Okay, we got his pistol holster with his pistol, of course. If I can get it out here. So here that is. There he is holding it. Alright, and uh, just to mention that his belt is a little different from some of the other uh, US belts. The other ones are usually like a plastic material. This is actually 
a uh, kind of cloth material, um, which is pretty nice, I think. It seems more realistic to me than some of the other belts that the U.S. figures come with, so um, I like that a lot. All right, he's got a nice jacket here. You can see he's got a scarf around his neck. And uh, let me pull down the zipper just a little. You can see underneath part of his uh, uniform underneath. All right, we got the MP uh, armband there. Looks really nice. Here is a sticker you can put on. And he does come with uh, the corporal um, insignias. They are underneath here, actually, on his uh, uniform underneath. Just thought I'd mention that. All right, and he does come with a whistle, which is really cool. Um, I actually don't have this on correctly. You can see on the box, um, it looks like it's attached onto his collar area. And you can see where they want you to put it. There's a little uh, space, little, uh, I guess not, it's not quite opened up. So it looks like you kind of have to open that up yourself. I haven't done that yet. I guess you just kind of run the, the chain through there. Um, I haven't gotten around to that though. I'm a little scared to poke a hole in there. But um, it looks like that's what you're supposed to do. But uh, still really cool to have a whistle on the figure. And then lastly, uh, we got his pants, and then his boots, which are really nice. Let me get that in focus. There we go. All right, and that is Lou, a great figure, uh, relatively easy to put together, and uh, overall looks really good, um, considering that he's a little older. Um, I think he's a good quality figure. It comes with some neat equipment. I love the MP figures, like I said. So, um, yeah, definitely worth picking up if you can find him. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next review.